Hello everyone. I just want to do a real quick overview of this contact tachometer. It's a device I purchased for about $28. Now I purchased it for my Ebenrood outboard. I don't have any gauges, anything that kind of measures the RPM. I wanted to tune the motor so that it, you know, it worked properly. Um, the reason I don't want to get gauges is because I'd have to hook things up and, you know, the gauges will only work with one motor at a time. I just wanted something that would work for any, any motor or any equipment that requires rotation or timing essentially to be tested. Now so far I've used it once to time one of my motors and this device worked perfectly. It's, it's so simple to use. It, it's, really, it's a real nice device. Um, actually I'm a little impressed by the packaging and you know, I honestly could kind of care less but I was impressed to get in this nice little box. You know I think why that actually matters is when you get a device like this you obviously do not expect to use this on a daily basis. So when I it, once you're done with it and you can put it away in this nice box that lays there and you know right away what it is on the shelf and every time you need it, it's ready to use, it's a nice thing. Because if this wasn't, didn't come in a nice box and just kind of, you know, some cheap plastic packaging, it could easily get lost, especially the end pieces, and this way it just keeps everything nicely packed and together. Now, the way the device works is super simple. It just measures RPM, meters per minute or feet per minute. And basically the way it works is just you hold, have to hold the button down over here. You hold it down and you start rotating. As you can see I'm just rotating it with my finger and it's showing me the RPM. So to test the motor you just put on a cap. It comes with all different type of caps for different rotating objects. You put it on. You put it on top of the flywheel. And it, whoops and it falls off. And you just hold it down and as the device spins it'll tell you exactly the speed of the motor. Now this is obviously something you'd probably need two people with so someone would have to speed up the motor and kind of modify its RPMs while another person would be testing but obviously this is a multi-purpose device and this is what it's for and so far I mean, I, like I said I've used it once it's not the most complex device but it's worked perfectly. I like its design, I like its box and it has multiple different caps so it has kind of a the standard kind of pointy cap that has one that was kind of a reverse of the pointy cap with a little hole in it. It just has something very simple, just a very simple tip, but kind of like a thinner one than the other one over here. Then it has, uh, this one is essentially what, what you could touch something on the side, so it will roll along the edge or you could maybe even put something like a rubber band through here, so you could kind of tested in multiple different ways. Now, I am pretty new to these devices and I, the only thing I find a little strange is that the tip falls off kind of easily. Um, I'm not sure if, maybe you could just put like a tiny, tiny little bit of grease on this just so it kind of stays on a little bit better because when I hold it upside down for the motor, I found it that like, it, it kind of wanted to fall off a little bit so I'd have to just lightly kind of touch it down with my, hold it down with my finger as I press it down so it wouldn't fall off. Uh, obviously this isn't a big issue and maybe there's actually a reason for this that I don't know. Um, other than that, this device has been working absolutely perfectly and it's basically called a contact tachometer because you need contact with the device. It's, it's not digital, there's no wires or anything. Um, so if you're looking for this or something like this for your outboard, you need to check the RPM. I really do recommend this. It's 28 bucks. But it's a tool you'll pretty much have your whole life and will provide, you know, work with anything you need that you need to test the speed of. So I think it's great.